You know, if you just take a look around today, we are in one of the most difficult drought years that we've been in, in in a while. Our neighbors and other farmers are struggling to uh, hold on to their cows, primarily because uh, of the dryness. The Vermilion River watershed was rated as really poor in 2005 when the NSWA did a state of the watershed report for the entire North Saskatchewan River Basin. And so we knew that we needed to prioritize work in the Vermilion. So we got a group of people together, they formed an alliance, and then we started working with landowners because we knew that landowners were the key to actually creating change on the ground. A watershed is basically a big area of land that drains water to a single point, and that point is a body of water, so your lakes and streams, rivers. Watersheds are important because they are um, our lifeblood. They give us the water uh, that we need to survive, the water we need to grow plants. Um, they allow animals to thrive in the environment. So they're important. We need to protect them if we're going to protect our future. And we utilize water in many different aspects. Unfortunately, all too often negatively. And I think that's the aspect of the watershed alliances across the province is to try and bring focus back to the fact that we need to protect and restore our watersheds. I saw a quote at one point that said Canada has a lot of fresh water, but we don't have a lot of clean water anymore. The Vermilion River Watershed Restoration and Enhancement Project was a very large project funded by the Alberta government through their uh, Watershed Resiliency Restoration Program, as well as Environment and Climate Change Canada. What this uh, project is about is working with landowners to help them enhance natural features on their land. So wetlands, uh, river banks, so the riparian areas or the vegetation that's living along the stream. Both wetlands and riparian areas play very important roles in our watershed. They help uh, slow the flow of water, they help us store water, so they're important in times of drought as well as in times of flood. We were approached uh, originally in uh, 2017 and asked if we would like um, some riparian re restoration. Well, we, uh, we were surprised, extremely happy, and said yes, we'd love that. We have some beautiful people come in that really knew uh, cows and fish, and they worked with us. We went on a tour of the land, uh, we discussed uh, possibilities, we learned a great deal more about the subject. I think partnering with the North Saskatchewan Watershed Alliance is only unnatural because we are one of the sub-watersheds of the North Saskatchewan River. Actually, the Vermilion River Watershed Alliance would not actually be capable of doing the things that we have done without being a part of the North Saskatchewan Watershed Alliance. Uh, there's a lot of people who have a lot of experience, um, whether that is living and working on the land or it's because they were, you know, a biologist for the province for a long time. Kind of bringing all of those people to the table to tackle these tough questions of what are we going to do next? How are we going to protect the watershed? Like, we couldn't do it without all of these people. We were extremely grateful for all of those uh, responsible for the project because uh, it's meant such uh, goodness for our farm. As a result of this project, we are passing on wonderful things to our neighbors. We are passing on water that's been purified. We are passing along wildlife that's beginning to, to restore itself. But if you take a look around our small farm, uh, it's green just about everywhere. I mean, it's awesome. When you start to see the land come back alive, that really speaks to itself. So over the three primary years that landowners were putting projects on the ground, we were able to restore and enhance over 20 kilometers of riparian areas and over 150 hectares of wetlands. So it's going to make a big difference to um, 
the health of the watershed and the water that will end up flowing into the North Saskatchewan River. We're going to start uh, some projects in schools to get the youth involved. We're getting projects started with Lakeland College to get college students involved. You know, we would like people to implement these best management practices on their land. What do we want to see seven generations from now? It's important to have that vision in mind when you're thinking about the space around you. Is this what you want to leave for that generation or do you want it to be better?